Hi there and welcome to day 19 and we're back in my own studio. I've missed this place so much. And let's just jump right into it. Today we're gonna go over the gear of my biohacking experience. Everything that in the last eight years now I kind of accumulated and experimented with. And this is actually gonna be a two-part video where the first part I'm gonna go into the gear of my biohacking experience and in the second part I'm gonna go into the supplements that have helped me get through stress and that my doctors and physicians and everything recommended me at the time to go holistic instead of um, the anti, I don't know, stress medicine that's uh, almost addictive because I wanted to stay away from that as much as possible. But, and that's the fun part, tomorrow I was actually invited to go give a speech. So tomorrow you're, you're gonna see my speech about business automation and the day after that, I'm gonna close week three with the supplements. And then week four, we're just gonna go all in to business, the wealth aspect. How I did automation and everything that I talk about in the wealth aspect. Because so far we've covered health and relationships and trackers and systems that I cover in there. Not all of them because we're so limited on time, but I'm giving you as much as I can in these short videos that we have. So. Let's, let's just fly into it. So the first thing that I recommend is this one, this uh, little power lung. I don't know if you can see that, but it's called a power lung. And pretty much the, what you do is, so it, it trains your lungs and it's, it's made for pro athletes. And what you do is you have a button here. I don't know if you can see this. No, it's not focusing, but you have a button here that says that you can go max, you can increase or uh, decrease the pressure of inhaling and the same thing here of exhaling. And based on that, you can pretty much build up your lungs, uh, the strength of the way your lungs are breathing. Uh, pro athletes use, it, use this as an extra thing during their workouts so they can perform better. As a, for martial arts, this is great, but also from a health perspective, that's where I got it from. Um, when you breathe better, when I was going through hyperventilation, that's why I got that little kid. I wanted to breathe better. Uh, if only I knew that that wasn't what's, what was going to save me. The next thing is actually pretty basic and most old people have this, um, but I think young people should have it too. It's a, a blood pressure meter. So you literally just put this around your wrist. I'm not going to do it now, but you click on it and then it just starts, uh, it, it really goes hard on your wrist and then it just starts measuring your heartbeat and um, and everything that you should know about your blood pressure and then here is my old my old 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 uh, blood pressure I don't know if you can see that this was like maybe I don't know how long ago but June I think this was like four years ago this is how I started tracking so in case you guys want to know how sophisticated I was. Um, then we go into something that I just wasted my money pretty much on. This is a thing, so when you sleep, right, some of the people around us would have like, so I, I do this with my teeth. Some people snore and stuff like that. So I got this device thingy that you just put around your thing and that's how you sleep. Now, somewhere, I don't know where, I also read that, um, well, from protecting my teeth, one, that was a good thing, but the second thing, apparently it also like helps your jaw become more square, but I don't, I don't believe that actually worked. Um, I did it for like half a year and then kind of dropped it, so in some way it was a waste of money. Uh, I guess I'm saving you from that kind of waste of money. This thing is, uh, is interesting. I used to do this all the time when I flew. I don't know, again, if you can see this, but it is a grounding plug. So you have like this device that plugs in here and then you have this little bracelet that goes here and then you just plug it in and then you plug it into the, into the, the, the wall socket. So I'm not sure if it was a waste of money. Uh, at the time, maybe it was placebo every time I would fly. Um, so one of the things that you learn 
uh, when you start doing biohacking is that when we were supposed to be walking, if we go back 20, 30,000 years ago, whatever, we were supposed to be walking barefoot on soil, right? So there's some kind of energy that, that charges up in our body that should be released by touching soil, which is another term called grounding. So if you're struggling with sleep because you live in an apartment building or something like that, you can try grounding. One of the, actually one of the main things that I do when I feel not really good after a flight, it's grounding. So I go to a park and I ground myself. And that's the reason why I think this little thing is a waste of money now. Because I used to fall asleep with this and I would put it around my leg, not my wrist, because I would wake up from that. And it seemed to improve my quality of sleep based on my sleep tracker. But since then I've been uh, forgetting that thing. So I always go into a park and stuff like that. And I don't have to struggle with the wires. And also, for instance, if I go to the US, that plug doesn't work. So I just uh, kind of release that and just go to a park, do some yoga there for five to 10 minutes. And that usually helps. So if you're struggling with sleep, that little device could help. But there's a better uh, one, it's more expensive. It's actually if you get an entire mat that you can lay on your bed and then sleep on that grounding mat. Uh, that should help, but track with the sleep tracker, of course. And, uh, and then when, because we're in sleep, we might as well go into this little device. This is called, this is the one thing that people ask me about, what is this? So this is a Cess Ultra. It's not the best one from biohackers, but like there are a lot of biohackers that have manual uh, cess machines, but what it is is actually a cerebral electrostimulation machine. And a oh no, cranial electrotherapy stimulator. So uh, two names, both are able to be used. So what you do is you have here, you have the, the image, you put it here on your earlobes. You can see, I'll unpack it so you see what it looks like. So you have these little things that you put on your earlobe like this. And, uh, and then obviously there's a wire that goes straight, straight into the CES machine. And then you put it into a mode where you barely feel a tingle. And this was developed by Russian astronauts to make them sleep more efficient. Now, I don't use this device as much. Uh, I use it mostly when I know that I'm gonna sleep less than five hours. And based on my sleep tracker, I do go into deep sleep way faster and way longer so it is very effective but unfortunately i don't the research that i've read was very like vague around it there isn't too much research so i use it very scarcely uh you would see, i always tell the story of the german conference that pretty much started why not three and that work-life balance workshop so that was a, uh, a conference that i spent five hours uh five days and i slept two hours every night so that was pretty horrible and people ask me how did you even do that so that is actually one of the hacks that i do i did grounding and i did the cess machine the cess machine pretty much saved me through that entire experience and that's how i was super awake and didn't have a crash right after i, I could pretty much do whatever and i know other biohackers have have the manual cess machine so they can pretty much adjust which uh, waves they get so that they get into deep sleep even better or into alertness phase or creativity phase even faster. But for me, I just, I really wanted to have efficient sleep. So I use this mostly during conferences uh, and when I sleep less than five hours and I need to be in top form the next day. But I always leave uh, just in case a day extra where I know that I can catch up with sleep. The next device is actually the most interesting device and this is the one that I always advise to all of my clients and um, all of these things I'm gonna link them down below you can go look it up because the explanation videos are quite long so if you want to see how it uh, goes into real life or how to use it just go on those videos and the links that I post below but the heart math so this is the heart math and what it is, it's an infrared sensor. I'm not sure you'll be able to see this, but in here you have a sensor. And what you do is you put it on this side and then you plug it into your iPhone 
and you can look it up and with the explanations and everything you plug it into the iPhone and it teaches you how to breathe so it measures how your heart pretty much it measures your heart rate variability what is that so when you're normal and you haven't trained your heart rate variability then pretty much your heart will go like that so the optimal point like for instance if you're a monk or train or meditate a lot then you would have trained your heart to be more stable your heart rate variability variability to be more stable and so it would go in waves like that so the heart math is pretty much that little biohacking gear that teaches you how to get into that state where you can control your heart rate variability why do you want to do this well because when you're super stressed you're almost always in this fight or flight mode and you don't know what's gonna happen or you're stressed or before you're going to speak there's like stress coming on you know what to do so this little device teaches you how to breathe so that you control you can control your heart and then de-stress in the moment like those monks would do during meditation except for you don't need 20 years you can control it by, by learning it for six to eight weeks, preferably six months. It took me, I think, eight months before I could control my heart rate variability properly. So the heart, so the heart math, I'm gonna link everything below, is so small, but it is one of my most precious devices. And I think it's only like 100 bucks or something like that. The SES machine was more expensive. Uh, this is actually the most expensive little thing that I have, and this is, not many of you will recognize it, but this is called a Soma Pulse. So the Soma Pulse works with magnetic waves um, and it's pioneered by a doctor called Dr. Pavluk. And he explains it way better than me, but pretty much what I use it for is, for instance, if I have a really hard training session and I need to recover way faster than the normal people because I need to give a speech the next day or have a really important business meeting and I don't want to come like an old man to the meeting. So I use this Soma Pulse pretty much to recover me faster or for instance if I ate really bad stuff and I'm struggling for days, um, it seems to help uh, recovering faster. So I use that uh, as well. So apparently it can be, it can treat a lot of big diseases um, and it can make you heal faster. There's a lot of research being done now in magnetic therapy, but you can all look into it um, in the links down below. I'm gonna skip over it because we're already short on time. Um, then we have this, it's, uh, there's dust on it because I haven't used it. I think it's one of those things that I've spent my money on and is completely underused so this is called a folk us so it's like foc dot us and what you get is pretty much something like this you get these sponges that you put into your focus you have to make them wet of course and uh, I'm just gonna leave the sponges for now but what you do is you pretty much go like that and you put it here on your frontal head, yeah, like that. And what you do is, is there's an iPhone app and you can also without the iPhone app, I think, yeah, you can put it on. So it's like this and you click on the button. I'm not gonna do it now because there's no sponges in it, but pretty much it gives you electro stimulation to start focusing really hard. And gamers, pro gamers use apparently this thing. And that's why I think the box is so fancy and made as if it's for gamers. So that really boosts your energy um, for, for focus. So for instance, if I would be, uh, th this was, I bought this like two, three years ago and used it maybe four times. But uh, I use this, for instance, when I was during the exam period um, and I needed to focus after all the sales meetings that I would have done or all the jobs that I had. And then my mind would be all over and I kind of needed to focus on this one book. So I used uh, focus uh, together with some other stuff like Pomodoro and stuff like that. Uh, to really kick into gear my focus without using supplements. But I'm gonna cover supplements as well. And the last thing, and this is actually the one that pretty much made all of the other stuff unnecessary. This one really kicked my focus into gear. And now it has dust on it, but I used to use it daily for I think a year or something like that. 
and it's very rudimentary i think it's all hand built like you can literally see stuff like that i'm not sure they sell these stuff anymore but what you do is you put it like that and uh, then you plug it into your computer and pretty much with your mind it's, it has like an infrared sensor here and with your mind you have to move something and again you can look it up in the screen so you move into a, a space and every time you are not focused the program goes back and when you're focused it goes to the front so it teaches you how to pretty much pump blood, I, that's what I assume, pump blood into your brain so that you're actually focused on something. So that when you don't know how to get focused again, thanks to this device, if you know how to stimulate the blood to get there, you pretty much get into the state of focusing. So this one actually made all of these other things not necessary for me anymore. Now, I, what my disclaimer at the time is also part of the struggle that I had in focusing was because I was so stressed out. So putting these gears like focus and this one is called uh, HEG machine, HEG machine. So I'm going to put the link down below as well. But when I was super stressed and doing all of that, I was actually putting myself into hyperdrive. And I noticed over the long term, I'm speaking about one, two years, maybe I noticed that I was piling up stress even more. What I should have done is taken some gas back, de-stress myself using the heart, heart math way more, and then piling up stuff like uh, the heck machine to pretty much get my focus in order and stuff like that. So that was a really fast rundown of all the gear that I have. Now, of course, in a 10 week program, I go really deep into every piece of gear and how I use it specifically. But I think I gave you a pretty clear picture right now. I'm going to put down all the links from the people that can describe it way better than I do. But at least now you have some kind of idea of what gear people use. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to give a speech uh, at the Venture Cafe. They've invited me again. It's a startup hub. So if you are a startup, you're going to be pretty interested in the speech tomorrow. If you're not a startup, you can skip or if you want, I'm going to be talking about business automation. So you'd be able to compare how you do business automation to me. Maybe there are some improvement points, maybe not. It'll be all q and A. I I haven't prepped anything because I want to know how, uh, what the people want to talk about their startups. So they're going to be maybe non-startups or maybe yes startups, I don't know. So I'm not gonna prep, I'm just gonna see what they want and talk about that. So if I fail, you're gonna see me fail, but I've done this before and uh, experience kind of carries through. So I'm hoping on that as well. Of course, I prepared some kind of outline in case there are no questions, which I always do and have all my old speeches that are prepared that I talked about in TEDx, that I talked about uh, lately in the Venture Cafe, they've been inviting me quite a lot, so I've been talking there as well. So everything is prepped, but not prepped. And um, I'm very keen to invite you to see that speech with me. The day after that, we're going to go into supplements. I'm going to go step by step into which, which supplements that I took to get me out of that stress mode and hyperventilation. And there are some that many people know, like vitamin C and stuff like that, but there are a lot that uh, many people don't know because they're very low key and uh, my biohacker friends had shared it with success with me and now I'll be sharing it with you. Thank you so much for being here with me on day 19. I'll see you tomorrow for day 20. And uh, it'll be very interesting. Let me know what you think in the Facebook group or uh, by email. See you soon, tomorrow.